So today, I want to go over my net and how I store my net and the stand that I made for it because uh, this don't fit in my pocket. So, let's go check out the boat. Okay, so, oh, yeah, all this crap's gonna come off. So, let's take everything off except for the net holder. Okay, let's go check it out. So, as you can see, there is a Scotty mount that's actually called a gearhead, which is clamped onto the track there. It is connected to a Scotty mount sonar mount. It's actually people use that for a fish finder. You know what? I'm going to take all this crap off and bring it back to the table. All right, so I took everything apart here and I'm going to go over all the pieces. We'll start with the ones you can just buy. Um, I bought this on Amazon. This is made by Scotty, and this is a mount that holds a fish finder. I think they call it a um, sonar mount. This one is made by Scotty as well. This is a Scotty gearhead, and this clamps on to the track. Slide this on, clamp it down. This slides into that. This then gets screwed into this. This is made out of King Starboard. It is half inch thick. This one is, this pot is actually 11 inches long, four inches wide. Um, there's a um, bracket here which holds one part of the net. Let's get the net out. Hold it in just like that. So this end is rounded. To accept this. This end I notched out to fit into this. Yeah. And it was just a matter of like as far as the height went for this, I was figuring out how I wanted it to sit. And that's the measurement I came up with. And this part here. This is a stainless steel broom holder or a mop holder. And I bought this on Amazon as well. And I screwed it in. It does, have, it does come with some screw holes. I think it even came with screws to be honest with you. And it comes in a pair. I didn't, at first I had two on here. But these are pretty strong, and I found that having two on here, it was very difficult to pull off. So I kept it with one. This is a folding net. Net folds in half like this. Um, some people just store it like this on their kayak. I tend to like having it already ready to go. That's why I use the stand. So now I'll put this back together. Again, back to the boat and I'll show you how it's put on. So I'll put the gear head on. And these go on very, very easily. Um, I leave the gear heads on the tracks 
And what I'll do is I'll take the net and the holder um, and I'll store this in, in the trunk of my vehicle. Just click on. It goes on. Pretty simple. Um, I find having one of these mop holders on here just works out so nicely where you've got the nice springs and it comes off and on very easily. There's enough resistance here that it's not going to fall off, but it's not too much where it's going to be a struggle for me to pick it up. And it, I mean, it holds on there really well. It's not going to come off. And, and I haven't had it come off yet. And this is third season. With, with this actual setup, um, I have, this is new. I changed the mounting system and everything on my bow is kind of like that. If something is working, um, I'm gonna keep it. If there's ways to improve it, I'm gonna improve it. And one of the improvements, I, one of the improvements that, that I did this year was I added this type of bracket to it. The other one that I had, actually it was, it was a starboard piece that was screwed into this, and then there was a knob that you had to turn uh, to tighten it on. And I found that that did a lot of this. That was just the, the, the system that it was. But this, where it clicks in, locks in, and doesn't move, this is an improvement from last year. And that's, that's the whole thing. I mean, you're just gonna improve it, um, refine it. Um, I, I, I actually enjoy having my net right in front of me as well as the hog trunk. Um, and, and, and anything else on the, on the kayak. Putting things in places where I can easily grab them makes everything easier for me. Um, I can concentrate on fishing and catching fish instead of figuring, looking on my boat for where things are or where things should be. So, yeah, hopefully you found some things useful with this. And maybe you even have a Yak Attack um, net that you can actually do this with. And you can use your imagination. This can, this can go anywhere. I mean, you can even throw some through bolts on here with some T-nuts on the bottom of it. And you can actually just mount this right onto the track itself. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.